Hi everyone, this is Jim Lee Elevators here on YouTube. Before I start this video, I just first want to say happy birthday to Southern Methodist University. And I can't think of a perfect way to commemorate their 112th birthday than a ride on one of the best old vintage Otis elevators here on campus. Hope you guys enjoy as this concludes my updated take on all the old vintage Otis elevators at Southern Methodist University. Enjoy and here we go. Here we come to the elevator at Story Hall at Southern Methodist University in Dallas, Texas. This is an old, old vintage Otis elevator from 1950. Well, somebody else said that it was from 1947 or 48, but record says that this elevator is from 1950. But anyways, I finally get to get a take of this elevator. I finally got a chance to film this after waiting a whole year. This is an old vintage Otis with the rotor dial indicator. Let's call it. Watch this. I'm not sure if this rotor dial works. Unfortunately, it does not work. Anyways, here's the elevator. Look at this beauty. This is one of the oldest elevator in the campus. Bridwell Library used to have an old piece of beauty like this one, exactly, almost exactly like this one, but sadly it got ripped out. But thankfully, this elevator is still original. There's your COP, original Otis logo, and there's your floor indicator right there. Let's get a cab here first. This elevator is a single is a single speed top driven traction, so just as a fair note, this elevator stops very, very abruptly. So if the camera shakes, I do apologize. Anyways, there's your ADA complaint phone. Let's take it up to three. Actually, I'm trying to turn the fan off. Uh, unfortunately, I can't. Unfortunately, the switch is broken. Let's take it for a ride. Here we go. <coughs> Oh, it, what do you know? It surprisingly didn't stop too hard, but the three light is unfortunately burned out. Anyways, we're going to take this down to B. <coughs> They actually smoothed up the leveling. It used to stop really hard like the first time I wrote this thing, but thankfully now it doesn't stop as hard as it used to be. Anyways, like how Alex did in his last video, we're gonna take a twilight ride just so you can get a much better view of the floor indicator and I'm not sure if the camera could focus well in the dark, but I'll tell you what. Um, when I do see an indicator lighting up, I'll be sure to turn off the light halfway through, but I'll turn on the light once uh, you don't see 
much of the red dim lights on that fornicator. So we're gonna take it up to three. I think M and two are the only floor numbers that light up. I'm gonna wait for M to light up. Oh, there it is. Oh, it just went out. Oh, there's two. All right, here we are at the third floor. We're gonna definitely hear that motor again going down. Also, um, I'm gonna try to, I might turn off the light again just so you can see a little bit of view of daylight as a, I just literally saw a little bit of daylight light going through between the hoist white and the inside cab doors. So we'll go back down to B. I'm not sure you could see it. Oh, there it is. I just literally saw it. I just decided to turn the light back on because the camera can't focus in the dark. But man, is this elevator worth filming? This is definitely worth checking out. I'm so glad this elevator is still original. But anyways. Here we are back at the basement, and this is where we're gonna end here. Alright, let's get one last view of this old piece of beauty. goes and that's it.